found all the dudes. I'm out well, well before an hour before shooting light, and I was not the first person at the sign on box. And I've seen headlights back and forth through all here, so where there's dudes, there's got to be birds. Hopefully we can turn this trip around a little bit. This is day number three out in Montana. The first couple days were not were not good. I didn't even I didn't even do any recording. They were they were so not good. But I'm excited for this one. We got a spot scoped out from that I scouted out last night, and we'll see if we can finally make something happen here. Stay tuned. We're turning our luck around, starting right now. There's not this many dudes running around with dog boxes for no reason. The cover looks good. Maybe even just a little thick right here, but the best looking cover we've been in. It looks green. Got a bunch of different grasses. Let's make something happen. Dixie. Dixie! Our first Sharpie down. Fetch! She doesn't have it yet. They should find it. I want to grab my shell casings. One. They still don't have that bird. Oh, here, number two. It got that bird got hit twice. Fetch him up. Fetch. She did a really nice job of woeing when I told her to for her for his point. Where's that bird? Good puppy. Good dog. Come. Well, Dixie surprised me and flushed a huge covey. I shot one out of it. And I hit him twice, just not very hard. He went down in this thicket. Kinda. He's got his legs on him. He got off about six feet from me, scared the crap out of me. I don't know that this went down hard enough to get back. It fell right off into here. Dixie. Dixie. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Oh, I hear him. Good puppy. Good puppy. Fetch him up. I heard it try to run or fly and Dixie was on it. 
Does she have it? Oh. Drop it. I just barely hit this thing. That's a good dog. That is a wild time. This, this was a good time. Now I understand why everyone comes out here. For a minute there, I was starting to question what the draw was, but now I get it. Now I absolutely get it. Just gorgeous, I love sharp tail. Just gorgeous birds. So I got pounded pretty hard. Oh, not as bad as this one. And, because I'm a good steward, empties as many as I could find. So this is my first time hunting Montana and it took, this is the third day, it took a couple days to kind of dial in what kind of land you're looking for. And I had used the, like the density maps that they post online as a starting point and uh, don't, don't trust those. Those were very misleading. They didn't help at all. But now that I got her, now that I got her dialed in, this is okay. Painful the last couple days. Absolutely painful. Persistence paid off. Success built on failure. I think is the. Uh, I think that's the model that we're going to go with with this channel is success built on failure. Because let me tell you, I had to work for today. Oh man, after a couple of days of really struggling and not, not seeing anything at all, we really needed that win today. And as happy as I am that I was able to, to give a little bit of our sharp tail this morning, there are a lot of dudes hunting that, that area. So I think it's supposed to be in the upper 90s again today. I'm gonna go and scope out some more, some more land and see if I can find something that looks pretty decent that's away from the crowd a little bit. I don't like hunting around a bunch of dudes, so it was good to drive out there, get that quick win. This is quickly becoming a, a tour of Montana. I'm gonna get out, see what I can find. I might look in to see if I can find a place to hunt sage grouse today. It's gonna be so hot and I'm, I'm truck camping, so it's not like I'm gonna be hanging out in the truck camper when it's 90 something degrees. It gets too hot back there. So we're just gonna put some miles on the truck and figure out what we can find. Hey guys, I was looking for sage grouse territory and I think, I think this is a good sign when there's four of them sitting in the ditch. these to flush into the public stuff. Not that way, not that way, not that way. Oh. Oh, there's still another one left. All right, time to make a plan. limping already.
Dude, now's not the time to be limping. I think those things made their way back to the ditch. Eh, he's getting whiff of something. Probably tracking him. Can't hunt him out of the ditch. Oh, that one's on private. That was a sage hen though. It's going to make a small pass somewhere near the other side of the road. I think the one that I pushed off to the other side of the road ran back over. Well, it's still in the mid-80s, but we have a nice breeze. It's overcast, and we'll just take a couple of short walks. Made it to what I think is reasonable sage grouse habitat. I don't really know what it looks like, but I know what those white things, the white pieces of vinyl on the fence are. I know what those mean. Still can't believe we couldn't make a play on those six sage grouse that I saw. I first saw them in the, in the ditch, and I tried to spook them off into, because it was public land there, I tried to spook them off Oh, let me get behind the truck where it's not so windy. And they, they wouldn't move. They just stayed in the ditch. So I took the truck to try to flank them back into the field. And I had to slam on my brakes a few times. They kept trying to land in the road. I finally got one to fly across the road where it was also public. And by the time I started making my way over there, I saw that stupid little thing running back to the ditch. So they got lucky. Let's see if we can make something happen here. That might put a damper on our sage grouse hunting tonight. Oh. Do I want to be smart, not hunt in the lightning? and sit at my camp before it starts pouring rain. Oh. Or do I YOLO and we go hard until we can't go? I've never been smart about anything in my life. I'm not about to start. Let's go. Next spot, puppy. Load up. Oh, my crying German short hair flusher. Do you not like being left behind? Did you forget that you're limping? You stay. Let's do this. I saw it was raining. You think I would have just thrown on my oh, okay. rain jacket? Heck no. Hey, so you guys remember when I was uh, talking big about YOLO and not being smart and I'm going to go for it anyhow? You know, that, that turned out to be a lie. So, lightning struck right above me. And when you see it in the reflection when you're turning on the dog collar, I think we're going to call it for the night. But I'm going to come to this spot tomorrow. Unless it passes. Maybe I'll just sit tight for a minute and see if... As long as the lightning's not right over my head, I don't mind, but... I don't need to be the tallest thing 
being on top of the hill either. Oh, there goes a... Uh... That wasn't us. That flushed way wild. Right here. Hey, stay close. Dixie. You can't be running out now. Yes! I should reload. I've hunted these enough to know that there could be more. I thought they came out of there. Come on! That's a good dog. Come on! drop him good good puppies it's a good thing that I have to come down here and help her because look what I'm about to stumble across my luck might be turning around this is the nicest shed I've found in the wild oh well there about time come come on fetch all right, this is a joke. Does anybody want two f***ing dogs? Fetch. If you don't mind, f***ing fetch. Thank you. Come on. Hold it. Drop it. Oh, I hope I wasn't asking too much of you. But, I mean, work with me a little bit here. How freaking cool was this? They're small, they look young. That one's, this one's almost the size of a quail. This one here. And I will say, oh, what do we got here? Turn that off. I will say, I really struggled with my shooting last year. And so far, just about every bird that's gotten up that I've shot at, I've knocked down. So I've been super pleased with that. But check this out. Forked off right in the perfect. Look how, look how artsy I'm about to be here. Oh. No, I don't like that. You got to hold them. Is that... That looks stupid, doesn't it? Let's put it right in front here. One on each side. So, so cool. Alright. Let's see if we can find a couple more here. Right towards the top on the non-windy side. Kind of right where everyone tells you they're supposed to be. So, we'll get back at it. She looked awfully interested all of a sudden here. Can't be another cubby this close. She looked good there for a second. Two nice bucks. Let's see if I can get a picture before they take off. Oh, 
wicked cool. There they go. Look at those, look at those booties. Four sage grouse and my gun jammed. Oh. Come. How many shells do I have in here? Oh. That was our sage grouse. I was just talking about a jinx my come jinxed myself when I said that I've been hitting everything that's been in the air and then my freaking gun jams. I was actually just getting ready to turn on the camera because I thought we were gonna get sharp tails out of that. Oh they definitely flew over the line. Let's see, maybe we'll get lucky. Man, it looked like they went real far. We're working against the wind too. We don't have the wind in our favor, rather. Are they gonna come out of this little patch? There was like six or seven. I bet that's the group that I saw in the ditch yesterday. We got more decent looking sage cover. The Dixie, she's sure putting the smack down on these sharp tail. Got a shed and we got, oh, you're, you're hurt. These kind of, these aren't the most photogenic looking birds, are they? But she did her thing. I still can't believe we had a gun malfunction on the six sage grouse. That's what I was really trying for today. Had my opportunity and I blew it like normal. We're gonna do a bit of driving and see what we can come up with tomorrow. We got one, it's about Tuesday. We got really one more day to hunt. It might be two half days, but we gotta start driving back pretty soon. So I'll check in with you tomorrow. All right, made it to a new spot. This looks more like what I envisioned sage grouse country to look like. There's not a lot of different grasses mixed in, but this is just a sea of green. We don't have much daylight left and we're getting down to the, the final minutes of our trip here. Hope we can pull something off. But if the water for the cattle isn't a sign, then I don't know what is. We gotta make something happen here. The grass is so good the dog's eating it. I'm in a sea of green. Water, there's a hay field down that way. Something's gotta happen. We tried for this. Well, we just hammered out just about three miles in. Oh, you've got cheatgrass in your ear. Let me look at you here. In, hammered out about three miles in less than an hour. That was the fastest I've ever walked while hunting. We were just trying to get out and just see if we get something to, to pop out and nothing. Well guys, that was a wild ride through Montana. For my first time being out there, I am overall pretty happy with, with what we did. We struggled for the first couple days trying to find birds in, in decent numbers, um, moved around quite a bit, ended up finding a lot of birds in, in one area. So I think if I go back next year, I know exactly where I'm going. Part of the fun in these out-of-state trips is, is the adventure that you go on trying to pursue the birds. You know, I could have stayed at the spot that I was finding a bunch of birds and I could have stayed there for a few days and probably did really well. And I probably could have taken my time and showcased some, some really good dog work and just left all the really crappy dog work out. 
I think that we probably could have got a limit every day without without much of a struggle. But that's not what this is about the first time that I go out of state. I'm there for the adventure. I want to see... I've only driven through Montana. I've not spent any time there. So it was much of a sightseeing trip as, as a first hunting trip. And I want to go hit some of the different spots that are supposed to hold birds and see what I like and see what the opportunity is, see what the, the public land situation is. So, although I didn't limit out every day, we, we had a good, we had a good time. The one thing that I was not expecting in Montana was to struggle with the dispersed camping. All of the state land and a lot of the federal land was all fenced off. And I'm used to, you know, driving off the trail and finding a little site with that's been previously used and I just could not find any of that. So I'm curious what people that go to Montana do the dispersed camping. Do you guys, are, are you just driving off the road a little ways? Or I'd be, I'd be interested in any tips or tricks that you have for, for camping on state land in Montana. So if you wouldn't mind dropping a comment down below if that's something that you've done or, or hit me in the DMs with kind of your method for finding some dispersed camping out there. I'd appreciate it. All in all, I think we're off to a pretty dang good start for the season. It just opened up and we have a lot of months left to be chasing birds. I know that we're gonna be taking another trip to Hell's Canyon. I know that we've got a revenge video for the blue grouse that I failed to get last year. We'll be quail hunting. Like I said, we got sage grouse in Idaho. We'll be going out for um, Idaho's sharp tail opener and we're making the trek back to South Dakota again. We'll be there for pheasant opener in October. So if you're interested in seeing how this bird season plays out, uh, think about subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, uh, drop me a like and, and leave a comment down below. See you guys back at home for the, uh, the catch and cook. Yeah. Hey guys, back from Montana. It's time to cook up the grouse that uh, we got. And I hear a lot of people say that they don't particularly like sharp-tailed grouse. It's a darker meat and they say that it's not their favorite. So I thought it'd be fun to put it to the test. I've got a few sharp-tailed breasts that we got over in Montana. I've got a few little dove nuggets. And then I've got a forest grouse, a blue grouse. I'm gonna fry each of them up side by side and we'll see if uh, sharp tail ranks right up there with the forest grouse and doves that I know everyone loves, or if there is a distinct difference. I personally love sharp tail grouse. It's one of my favorites, so I might be a little biased, but we'll see. Plan for this is just to, plan for this is to batter it up with some Louisiana chicken fry. We got our egg wash, and then we got some oil that I'm waiting to heat up. I'm gonna cut her into little strips or nugget sized pieces, throw them in the oil, and have ourselves kind of a, a bird fry. All right, I think the dove nuggets look pretty good on their own. Let's get the grouse. Maybe just do a couple strips here with this. Let's see if we can. BRB. Highest quality blade Walmart sells right here. You help? Yeah, right, anyways, I'm thinking strips for the grouse, the forest grouse. Try to get these kind of the same thickness so they cook reasonably similar. What do you think, like half? What is happening over here? What are you doing? And why are you doing it? Huh? Huh? Do you spell success on my hand? Or shared success? Pop this. Dixie was the sharp tail queen out there. She found almost all the birds. So this oil is 300 and good enough because I'm not patient enough to wait for it any longer. I'm gonna take the darkest pieces of sharp tail that I have just to make it the most fair. And I think we're gonna do one strip of, of each to start with. All right. Forest on the right. 
sharp tail on the left, and the dove, nu dove nugget is on. Oh, that's funny. That last cut was not money. All right. The forest grouse cuts a little bit nicer, that's, that's for sure. And the little dove, he's gonna be a tough one. I know everybody hates on sharp tail, I friggin' love sharp tail. Dove. Sharp tail is way better than the dove. That blue grouse is pretty legit though. Whew. I might need a second opinion here. Hey, babe! Yeah. Babe, will you come here please? Will you try these and tell me which one you like the most? <laughs> So we'll start with. Pretty good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, try, try this one. That one's good. I like that one better. You like that one better than the first one? Mm -hmm. It's less gamey. I don't think the second one's more tender too. Mm-hmm. Feels like a regular old chicken nugget. I'll say it looks just like a chicken nugget, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It's good. I feel like there's a little bit different taste to it. I can't quite, I don't know if it's the... Same breading, same everything. You having a hard time choosing between the last two? Mm-hmm. So. I think number two is my favorite. Number two is your favorite. Mm -hmm. So the first one was Dove. Mm-hmm. The second one was the Sharp Tail. Okay. And then this was the Forest Grouse, the chicken nugget looking one. Okay. So you like the Sharp Tail the best. Mm-hmm. I mean, number two and number three are very close. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it, Sharp Tail for the win. Everyone loves sharp tail. I don't know what those people are talking about when they say that it's too dark and too gamey and too dry and they don't like it because it's my my favorite just about. I like forest grouse though too. Next thing you get to see, hopefully, is a sage grouse hunt that I'm doing this coming weekend. Hopefully we can get in some birds. Hopefully we can at least see something. Sage grouse kicked my ass in Montana up and down the state. I'm not optimistic. It's gonna be snaky, it's gonna be hot. We don't know what we're doing. All the normal stuff. If you like the Montana video, if you like to catch and cook, uh, go ahead, drop a comment, leave a like, think about subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in Sage Grouse Country.